If humans ever leave the solar system, it won't be the way sci-fi promised, and here's the uncomfortable reason why. Space is way bigger and way crueler than our brains want to accept, because even if we built the fastest spacecraft ever imagined, traveling at thousands of kilometers per second, it would still take tens of thousands of years just to reach the nearest star, and that's not a typo. That's longer than all of recorded human history, meaning every movie where people casually hop between stars skips over the fact that fuel runs out, machines fail, bodies break down, and generations would live and die inside a metal box drifting through radiation-filled darkness. And even then, the destination might already be gone, because stars move, planets change, and habitable worlds don't wait for visitors. And while ideas like warp drives sound exciting, they require physics that may never exist outside equations, not to mention energy comparable to entire stars, which makes just build it bigger kind of impossible. So instead, we're trapped, not in a bad way, but in a fragile, rare, unbelievably lucky bubble where gravity, chemistry, and distance finally cooperate. And that bubble is our solar system, a tiny island in an ocean so vast that crossing it isn't just hard, it's fundamentally unrealistic. Which is why every probe we send barely scratches the cosmic neighborhood, every signal fades into noise, and every plan to leave quietly runs into the same wall of distance, time, and energy. And the wildest part is that while we dream about escaping, we're already flying through space together at millions of kilometers per hour, carried by the sun itself, meaning the real journey never stopped. And if you think about it, that brings us right back to the question we started with. If we're already moving this fast, why would leaving ever be possible?